The Hoover Power Allocation Act of 2011 creates a new opportunity for no more Nevada entities to obtain low-cost, renewable electric power from Hoover Dam. Only twice in the past 75 years have new allocations of Hoover Power been authorized by Congress. New contracts for Hoover Power will be for a 50-year term beginning in 2017. The Colorado River Commission of Nevada will host three informal public meetings February 12th and 13th in Las Vegas, Pahrump, and Overton, Nevada. Applications are due March 31st of 2014. This opportunity is available for nonprofit electric customers, including tribes, state agencies, political subdivisions, and other governmental entities in certain areas of Clark, Esmeralda, Lincoln, Mineral, Nye, and White Pine counties. Residential customers are not eligible to apply. The local prompt meeting is on February 12th at the Bob Rood Community Center from 2 to 4 p.m. All are invited to attend. The Nevada Supreme Court has temporarily blocked a tough sex offender registration and public notification law enacted by state lawmakers in 2007. In an order issued January 30th, three justices granted a stay of the law that was to take effect on February 1st. Nevada legislators enacted AB 579 to comply with the 2006 federal law. It applies to sexual offender and public notification requirements retroactively to convictions dating back to 1956, even if the person has been assessed as a low risk for reoffending. A Las Vegas law firm sought emergency action from the state Supreme Court on behalf of 24 unnamed clients. The suit argues the law would create irreversible effects on people who have lived without incident for decades. Nevada justices ordered legal briefs in the case. Political parties in Nevada saw slight increases in voter registration numbers in January. The Secretary of State's office says the number of registered active voters statewide grew by 3,169 from the previous month. Democrats still outnumber Republicans by about 78,000. A report issued Monday shows 41% of Nevada voters are registered as Democrats, while about 35% are Republicans. Nonpartisans account for nearly 18% of the state's electorate, and 5% are members of the Independent American. Party. The rest are members of the Libertarian or other minor political parties. Silver Springs Airport in Lyons County has been selected as a drone testing site. Officials say the open space and sparse population around the airport made it an ideal location for an unmanned aircraft operations site. Activities should start at the airport in about five or six months, and nearby residents and businesses shouldn't notice much of an impact. Silver Springs is located along US 50, about 35 miles northeast of Carson City. Additional sites will include Stead, Boulder City, Desert Rock, and Fallon. Nevada is one of six states nationally recently selected to serve as U.S. drone test sites. The others are Alaska, New York, North Dakota, Texas, and Virginia. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.